everyone and welcome to Listen Up Lewisham. My name is Jenny and I play the bass clarinet in Quartet Soundspark. We would normally be bringing you these concerts from St Catherine's Church Hatcham in Telegraph Hill. Unfortunately, due to the current restrictions, we are unable to do these concerts in person, so are really happy to be bringing you an online version instead. Our guest musician today is Olivia Jaggers, who is a professional harp player based in London. Olivia has played with lots of different orchestras and has lots of her own projects as well. If you'd like to check some of these out, please do have a look in the description down below where I've put some links of her other work. During the concert today, we're going to be suggesting some moments for you to join in, either having a think about how the music makes you feel, or maybe having a go at joining in with some singing and dancing, or potentially with your own musical instruments and sound makers. This could be anything as simple as a saucepan and a spoon, maybe you've got some musical instruments already, or maybe you would like to use a bottle and put some beads inside to shake it around. Please feel free to pause the video now to get those things ready if you would like to join in with them later in the concert. For now, I'm going to hand over to Olivia and she is going to tell you all about her instrument, the harp. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and today I'm going to be introducing you to my instrument, the harp. <laughs> and it has seven pedals at the bottom, and that's to help us change the notes of the strings. Can you guess how many strings there are? There are 47. That's almost as many notes as the piano. And the way we can see where we go is because the notes are red, all the C's are red, F's are black, and all the other strings are white. In our concert, Olivia is going to take us on a whirlwind tour of lots of different things that the harp can do. However, the first piece of music we are going to hear actually wasn't written for the harp at all. It was written for the piano. It was written by a French composer called Debussy, and he wrote lots of these short pieces of music called arabesques. He wrote the music to try and make people feel calm and peaceful. As you're listening to the music, have a think about how it makes you feel.
So, how did the music make you feel? Did it make you feel calm and peaceful? Or maybe something else? If you would like to, you can pause the video now and have a chat with anyone else who is listening with you about how it made you feel. Next, we're going to go for a trip to the ballet. This ballet we're going to hear some music from is called the Nutcracker. It's very famous and you might have heard of it before. We're going to hear a special piece of music from it called Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. This is a really special moment in the ballet when the principal ballerina, who is the most senior ballerina, has a solo dance all by herself. And the music is meant to sound like water shooting out of a fountain. As we're having a listen to the music, maybe you can have a think about the images that it makes you think of in your head. Also, if you wanted to, you can try dancing to it, imagining you are the ballerina going across the stage. Now that you've heard the dance of the sugar plum fairy, how did it make you want to move? Did you try dancing like the principal ballerina? Or maybe you were thinking about some images that came up in your head. What were those like? Maybe you would like to pause the video now and have a chat with whoever else is listening with you about what you were thinking about. Next, we're going to have a listen to a piece of music that uses words from a poem called Lady of the Lake. In the poem, the Lady of the Lake sings a song called Ave Maria, and this is that song. As she is singing, a harp player is playing alongside her. Olivia is going to play both the singer's part and the harp part, which is quite a lot of things to be thinking about at once. While you're listening, see if you can have a think about what the Lady of the Lake might be singing about.
So, what did you think the Lady of the Lake was singing about? Maybe you could pause the video and have a chat with someone who's listening with you about what you thought the song was saying. Next up, we're going to have something completely different. As well as playing classical music, the harp can also play lots of different styles and genres of music. The next song we're going to hear was a huge hit last year in 2019. It was by a band called Tones and I and it's called Dance Monkey. You might know it already. In this song, the songwriter called Tony Watson was trying to write down her feelings about what it was like busking as a musician on the streets of Australia. She was writing about the pressure she felt to entertain her audiences and to make sure they liked her music. Now is the time for you to grab your musical instruments or sound makers and join in. I've got my Esmeracas today and I'm going to shake them along to Dance Monkey. Would you join in with me? Ready? I hope you enjoyed dancing along to Dance Monkey, I definitely did. For our last two pieces, we're going to have a listen to two songs from films. The first one is from a film you might have heard of called Frozen 2. We're going to hear Into the Unknown, which is a song that Elsa sings when she hears a mysterious voice in the distance and she's wondering whether to go and follow it or not. This is another song you can play your musical instruments or your sound makers with, or maybe you might like to get up and dance and sing along to Into the Unknown. Thank you. 
Did you enjoy Into the Unknown? It's a really beautiful song. Now, our last piece of music Olivia is going to play is from another film called Toy Story. You might have seen this one already. And we're going to hear You've Got a Friend in Me, which was written by Randy Newman for the first Toy Story film. The song has actually been used in all of the Toy Story films since then. So please feel free to grab your instruments, your sound makers, get up and have a dance, and maybe even sing along to You've Got a Friend in Me. at the end of our Listen Up Lewisham concert for today. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope it brought a smile to your faces. Thank you so much to Olivia for her amazing heart playing. If you would like to follow whatever else she's doing, have a look at the links down in the description below and they'll link you through to her projects and through to her website. Our final planned Listen Up Lewisham concert was due to be on Saturday the 23rd of May. It's looking pretty unlikely that we'll be able to do that in person now, so instead we're going to do another online version that will be streamed on our YouTube channel. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with that and also follow us on social media for any other information. Thank you all so much for listening today, I hope you have a great rest of your day and look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!